And I am not the first baby mom. I am not the second baby mom. Beyonce, I'm not the third baby mom. I'm not the fourth baby mom. I'm not the fifth baby mom. Beyonce, I am not even the sixth baby mom. It's an ad for birth control. Well, no, it's not. Because it doesn't. Not only is it an ad for self-love, it's an ad for us to take responsibility. Yes, I understand we've made some mistakes. I put my hand up. I did it three times, y'all. I was 17. Just literally, my on my 18th birthday, found out I was pregnant. 18 again. And then 23. It took me three times to wake up. I hope it don't take you all that, that long. Okay. Wake up. Seek yourself. Find out who you are. I know a lot of us, we were not taught. A lot of us did not see a good father. A lot of us did not get good examples from our mothers. Right? But now we are adults. And we have to look for the right stories. Look for the truth. The truth. I found the truth when I started having African friends. I found out, shoots, you don't need to stay proud to, to feel love. Most of them stay virgins until they're married and they felt loved. So you don't have to sleep around to feel love. You don't have to be dependent on someone to feel love. But you got you got to find that love with Aina. I found my first love with the word of God and the presence of God. When I gave my life to God after becoming suicidal, anxious, depressed, having ment mental breakdown as a young woman because of the choices that I made, because I was not guided well, I was not taught well, I was not prepared, okay? And a lot of us have that story, but it's not the story that we should run with. We should change our, listen, change your story, girl. Change your story. You have the power to change your story like I did, thanks to the Most High God. By 24, I went on this self-love search. I found God and I found Ken. And Ken was the most beautifulest girl in my eyes. And I fell in love with her. And I still fall in love with her over and over and over again. My, my standards got higher. My, my, security in, my security myself got higher. My self-love was born because I didn't have any. My, my self-value, my self-worth was born because I didn't have any. And I got married. Been married for eight years. Been together with this man for nine years. Listen, change your story. I am teaching my girls. They don't need to have sex to feel love. They don't need to lower their value. Give their bodies to no man. Have children early for nobody. To feel loved. I'm teaching my boys to respect women. Do not take advantage of them. If they, if they have no good intention, leave that woman alone. I understand our, our start was not great, but now it's time to take responsibility and accountability for the choices that we've made and change our story. We cannot choose better until we know better. A lot of us never seen good dads. I didn't have my dad around and the, the men that were around me were not good people. So I had to learn what a good man was. I had to learn what they look like, what they sound like. How do they behave when they're angry? Because I didn't see that. I just saw violent men, men who had no self-control. Change your story, change your life, and change your choices. And I am not the first baby mom. I am not the second baby mom. Beyonce, I'm not the third baby mom. I'm not the fourth baby mom. I'm not the fifth baby mom. Beyonce, I am not even the sixth baby mom. Beyonce, make sure you tell these folks I am the seventh baby mom. Apparently, this is no longer accurate. As of yesterday, she was eight. And as of today, she might be number 10. They just keep on coming out of the woodwork. This creator who's got her picture over Morgan's keeps a running tab of baby moms and keeps um, updating their rankings as they provide proof and receipts as to their child's age, etc. I'm sure she has her hands full.
People keep asking me for my thoughts on this and I just don't know what to tell you all. Clearly we're living in the end times because multiple women, we don't even know how many, have had a child for this man who is not even mid, is not committed to any of them and talks like he has a mouthful of gravel. Like multiple people have pointed out, all these women are gorgeous. They all seem to have things going on in their lives. They're all young. Like why is risking your life in childbirth, risking your health, become so normalized for a man who is a stranger? No, it's not all black women, thank God. But we do have the highest risk of maternal mortality. Like we are in the most danger. We are the ones suffering from medical racism. We already have enough problems when it comes to even attaining health care. So why are you risking your life? So many of these women have said out of their own mouths, this guy was never somebody they were in a relationship with. He was a hookup. Why are you having a baby for a hookup, Jesus? Because I know y'all are going to say, oh, well, if they can afford the baby. Do you realize it's about so much more than that? There are multiple women having a child by this man. None of these people know each other. If it weren't for TikTok, they wouldn't know each other. So please tell me what's going to happen when these women, like their children grow up and they're out in Atlanta on the dating scene. Had you thought about that? Like what happens to the tangled up genetics of this area? But this is why having children is so serious and it should be done with the utmost care and planning because you're not the only one comprehended. The next several generations are involved in it. When you commingle your DNA with somebody, it's not just you two, it's your families that are involved, knowingly or not. I'm just going to think of this as part of the extinction burst. Apparently, right before the end of a social phenomenon, you get the most outrageous iterations of it. So we all know the birth rate has been declining worldwide. So obviously, in the extinction birth of women having children for randoms, we are going to see the most extreme situations. But what's more so bothersome is how TikTok has responded to it. We all know if it bleeds, it leads. But to see the crazy promotion of this, the way people have just overly consumed this kind of content is really concerning. Because the truth is people want a train wreck. They want to see craziness. They want to see mayhem. They want to see chaos. I do the Shut Up Ring series. And when I was using negative videos in the background, all of those went viral. All of them had millions of views, which was, you know, not necessarily my intent. So for one video, I said, okay, when I do this part, I want to use positive ones. So I used what I thought were really nice green flag proposals. That to date has one of the least views of any video I've ever made only a few thousand. But if I show cake shoving, if I show a man throwing a ring at your head or whatever, millions of views every time. People aren't just curious anymore. It's a morbid curiosity. They want to see people unhappy. They want to see people entangled in negative situations and being confused and surprised on screen. Like outwardly, they're supportive but it's just to feed their habit. They say, oh girl, we're here for you. We support you. Keep making content. Yeah, because you want to see what's going wrong. My dad used to tell us when we were going off to school, you're not there for anyone's entertainment. You know, don't be the class clown. Go to school and get your lesson. You're not here to be entertainment people. Your life is not for someone's entertainment and especially not your sorrows. But I think this is why I encounter so much pushback because I'm constantly on here saying, you know, don't let men make you a mother without making you a wife. Don't let them, you know, use you without any commitment. And people get an attitude, "Eh, just a bunch of white noise about how it's all good and baby mamas are living the life. You all have listened to all their videos. Have any one of these women said that they're happy? Did any one of them say they knowingly signed up for this particular situation? I always say being a baby mama is like being in a one-sided marriage where the guy gets all the benefits and privileges and you are the one on the hook with all the responsibilities because all these women now have a responsibility to this man that he does not have to them. And unilaterally on his own, he has decided to tie them to six or eight or whatever the number is now, other women without their knowledge. But this is what you consent to when you consent to being just a womb for a man you are not committed to. Anything can happen. And I know y'all love to tussle. You're going to say, well, anything can happen in marriage too. 
why don't you actually try it before you make that argument? It's like, I don't get it. People are so terrified of a marriage license, but will literally have children for men. Do you know this man's middle name? And I don't speak to criticize. I'm not judging any of these women. I'm just saying we're constantly talking about what's coming down the pike with losing Roe v. Wade, losing access to many social services, inflation, the formula shortage, the rising cost of childcare. There are so many things comprehended in having a child nowadays. And most people are opting out, which is why they're trying to force women into having children. So I just cannot see why people would be running willingly towards something the majority of the United States has said, this is so costly, dangerous, and risky. I just can't afford it. Like, is it me, Lord? Is it me? But y'all do what you want. Like and follow for more. Are you currently going down that rabbit hole looking for the random man in Atlanta's baby mamas? I got you. If you've already been going down that rabbit hole, you should already know who this person is. And it's none other than the prize bull himself, Jaquan Sanks, a.k.a. the hometown hero, a.k.a. the random man in Atlanta. Now, although I wanted him to remain anonymous, I'm going to give him his props. Mr. Random Man in Atlanta got a bad bitch fetish, and I'm here for it. So let's get into the seven baby mothers that have been identified. First up is baby mama number one. She goes by Kia Fitz on TikTok. She had a baby by random man at 17 years old and they share a daughter together. The second baby mama is Drea Janae. She shares a son with the random man. They do not have a good co-parenting relationship. He's not in her son's life either. She was pregnant at the same damn time as baby mama number three. Their children are eight days apart. Whenever you get a chance, go to her page and watch her two TikTok videos that she uploaded explaining her situation. All right, baby mama number three is Allison Mortel. She no longer has a TikTok page. I think she took it down, but I did uh, record her original video. It is on my channel if you want to go to that video and check it out. But she pretty much was blasting the random man and confirming what Morgan has been saying about him being a deadbeat. And like I said previously, she has a son that is eight days younger than baby mama number two son, which is crazy. All right, so baby mama number four, we don't have an actual name for her. We only have her Twitter handle, which goes by the name of Juicy Manella Blair. Um, she does share a daughter with uh, the random man, and she was blasting him about being a deadbeat on Twitter once upon a time, but since then, she has privated all of her accounts. All right, so baby mama number five goes by the name of Nina, and this is probably going to be our problem child out of the bunch. At this time, we cannot confirm if she has a son or a daughter with the random man, but she's giving very much spicy, giving very much misdirected energy, and looking at them bangs, it pretty much had me like, Not the bangs! The bangs! Oh, 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 oh. All right, back to the task at hand. Baby mama number six. We do not have a name for her. All we know is that she is currently the random man in Atlanta's girlfriend. Her and the random man have been on and off for 10 years and they do share a daughter together. She has not come forward to give a statement. She has not made any videos and I am currently unable to locate any of her social media. The vibe check is giving me that she condones his behavior and doesn't really give a damn about how many women he sleeps with or procreates with as long as he comes back to her. It's giving very much. That's my motherfucking man. Yeah. <laughs> do you hear me? I know I'll play too much. Let's get back on task. Okay, baby mama number seven is none other than Morgan. She's the one that coined the phrase random man in Atlanta. She's the one that made all her TikTok videos in reference of this man and trolling him. She tried her best to keep him anonymous until he decided to come forward. Morgan originally thought that she was baby mama number six, but after having a group meeting with the other baby mama, she found out that she was demoted to baby mama number seven, which is very, very unfortunate. But again, she was the one that started this whole thing. She was trying to take her postpartum, her pain, her heartbreak, and turn it into something positive and come to this platform to kind of vent. But it kind of turned into a circus at this point. As if seven baby mamas was not enough. Word on the street is baby mamas eight, nine, and 10 are currently loading. 
this is nothing shorter than a hot ass fucking mess at this point so if i get any more details about any new baby mamas i'll make sure to give y'all an update until then just make sure you mark yourself safe from the random man in atlanta okay so i see a lot of you guys are very in tune with what we have going on it must mean you ain't got shit to do with your life right but um a lot of you people in america you try to point the bad finger at somebody but don't know all the the gist to it or all the facts it's just uh you know you hear something find something you follow you know dick ride um i'm a black male who overcame a lot of shit. When Morgan met me, I was not the guy that I became today. Um, yes, I struggled raising all my different kids because I never knew how to. That don't make me less of a man. What makes me a man is providing and trying and doing different ways to provide for them. Um, I'm in college. Um, have my own concrete company, stamped, licensed, um, my own clothing line, and a little kid's line for all of my kids called Born Heart. You guys will see it very soon. So I'm loving the energy because I told Morgan that it would come to this, that you know, you guys were gonna come my way to find out who I was. So yeah, it's, so you gonna say this, you gonna say that, but one thing I'm gonna stand on is I'm a man. And any person that has multiple baby moms, that's a male, they gonna feel me when I say this. You deal with a lot of friction with the baby moms dealing with emotions. Y'all can call it postpartum, y'all can say whatever y'all wanna say. Um, I wasn't happy. And yes, I miss my daughter and I regret leaving my child every day. But that's why I bust my ass and I have a career where I can provide for all my kids. So a lot of you people need to just, you know, focus on your life, you know, not worry about Gigi. I got Gigi, you know, um, I just want to know why she spent so much time lying and talking about our life instead of promoting a positive mes message of a strong mother. I think she is a great mother. She's going to be an awesome mother. Um, I hate that it's so important to you guys to find out what's going on, but know the facts, you know. She can't just be telling all the truth, you know. Um, yes, I have multiple kids. Yes, it's challenging. Yes, it's difficult. I learn a new thing every day. Um, I don't think none of you guys behind that phone or behind the computer, laptop, whatever you own, you're no different. You have flaws. I'm pretty sure we got somebody that can tell us a shit ton about you. You know, so I'm thankful um, for all the engagement because you guys are going to see who I am. I ain't really got too much of nothing to talk about. It's fun trolling a little bit, shoot my shit back because I have receipts just like she does. And um, the car issue um, that I left in February, I used that car probably maybe three weeks and keep in mind I was sending the money to it so it didn't make a fuck difference she still has my trailer there my shirt press a lot of my shit and that truck she's speaking on okay all right who paid and the insurance also um her parents were helping her as well she's very spoiled um even when she went down and without a job, nobody wants to talk about this. I paid all the bills, you know. Um, Morgan was good to me when we were together. I, I will not take that from her. Um, it got icky towards the end. And again, in my post, you're not entitled to have to stay with the parent because you and her are not working out because of the kid. Um, and I get it, you know. Y'all think Morgan's just this 
pretty, you know, beautiful woman, which she is, but it's plenty of them out here. And also, you can't go off the looks, you know. I like the inside about a person. Um, I'm not going to bash Morgan to show some of the messages she said about my other kids or about, you know, me trying to be a father to all my kids. Morgan just wanted me to be a kid, to a father to Gianna. And um, that's just not possible. So, that's story time. Um, I'm working on my my body, get it back right, because you guys are here now. So, um, I actually got depressed, you know, leaving her and my kid. Nobody talks about that. They always go for the woman's side. But men have a say-so in depression or... Um, Mm, de not even just depression, emotions, a lot of shit, but we don't care about that shit. Like, I'm not emotional. I don't give a fuck. Um, I'm just more of just stating the facts. Like, you're not going to tell me I bust my ass 13, 14 hours a day to send you some money for my kid, and I'm a deadbeat. Um, and to my other baby mothers, you know, I'm constantly working on trying to get past the emotional barrier of, you know, oh, you did it with somebody else. So somebody got to feel me here. Some women just don't want to see you do the shit that they wanted to do with you. They don't want to see you doing it with anybody else. So that's a fact. And I'm nobody. I ain't no Chris Brown ass nigga, you know. Um, you know, I'm me. I'm Jaquan. So um, that's my feed for you guys today and i'm done with it you know tomorrow i'm gonna wake up with a positive message keep working out keep being focused um she took all the shots and i'm done taking them